Good day learners. Welcome to our science class. Our topic in this video is subatomic particles. Let's start. Atom is composed of three subatomic particles, namely electron, proton, and neutron. An electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a mass of 9.11 times 10 raised to negative 28 grams, and it is located around the nucleus of an atom. It was first discovered by Joseph John Thomson in 1897. Joseph John Thomson discovered electrons while conducting an experiment on a cathode ray tube. He noticed that the mass of the cathode ray was lighter than a hydrogen atom and it can be deflected using two metal plates. It is attracted to the positively charged plate while repelled by the negatively charged plate. He concluded that cathode rays are negatively charged particles. On the other hand, the proton with a positive charge. It has a mass of 1.673 times 10 raised to negative 24 grams, which is greater than the electron's mass. Positively charged particles were first discovered by Eugen Goldstein in 1886. And named proton by Ernest Rutherford which came from the Greek word, protos, means first. Eugen Goldstein discovered positive charged particles while performing an experiment on a modified cathode ray tube, made from a metal disc with holes. A stream of electrons emitted by the cathode was observed. There was also light formed at the positive electrode. This light is called a positive ray. A neutron is a particle with no charge. It has a mass of 1.675 times 10 rays to negative 24 grams, which is greater than the electron's mass. It is located inside the nucleus of an atom. It was discovered by James Chadwick in 1932. James Chadwick discovered neutrons while performing the experiment of Frederick and Irene Joliot Curie on gamma radiation projected at a paraffin wax. He observed that particles with no charge are emitted from the beryllium, and they have almost the same mass as that of the proton. Here is the summary introducing the subatomic particles of atoms. In the next video, we will discuss about how to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated in the upcoming videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.